I'm Ian Rush and you're watching the Red Men TV. Hey gents, uh, Paul Machen, Red Men TV. Uh, Alex, obviously the um, players like Raheem Sterling and Suzo and Wisdom have drawn the plaudits this season, but I think in the last couple of weeks, uh, one player that's perhaps been the most exciting for your team has been uh, Teixeira. Uh, how excited are you to, to finally have him fully fit and, and available? Yeah, he's um, he's a he's a talent, and he's he's someone who uh, you know I think you're right. He's eye catching, isn't he? When you when you see him play, that's just his hair. <laughs> that's just his hair. <laughs> <laughs> and he's um, he's a really interesting character. He's, he's someone who's who's come from a really, there's a there's a good club in, in sporting Lisbon. They've got a really good tradition, and what they can provide there that we're, we're trying to get here is that they've got a natural pathway into the into the first team. Um, Partly financial at the minute, but also because they do produce some very good players, and um, you know Figo, Ronaldo, Nani. There's, there's, there's a lot of history there, so it was a big decision for him to leave. And um, I think adapting to, you know, it's taken him time. He's, he's come in with an injury, so he's, he's missed the first part, and that's obviously meant he's detrained. He's then, um, I think he's taken time to adapt to, to see things like the weather. It's not until we went out to Sporting Lisbon in the next gen, a couple of you know, a month ago, and you realise how warm it is and how the cold you've left behind and just for a young kid to come over and not speak the language and adapt to food without family, without friends and the weather, you know, you, you, you can understand how hard it's going to be. So I think that he's over that initial period now and he's, and he's now training consistently and he's getting to a level of training which is, which is much, much better. Um, his qualities are obvious and I think that the, the manager likes him but also knows that there's a, there's a way to go in his game, he's got to refine some of the aspects to his game so I think he's got to come more effective if we can. Uh, th those types of players, I think, are great to to watch because um, they connect everyone in the team. So you know, that sort of Xavi quality that you have, or Modric quality, is is is, is great. You're almost like a spider in the web. But I think Jao's also got to become a little bit more effective in terms of goals, assists, key passes, mm. which he recognises, and, and he's working really hard on that. But he's, I would actually class him as a number of. Uh, you, in recent weeks, you. you you're right to observe he's, he's the most with the most eye catching. But I think that the ones who um, got injured ironically as well, like young Brad, the local boy, I, I think he could be a tremendous challenge. And just when he got injured was at the time when you you know you'd probably hear Mark King as being a, a real potential talent. The same with Sam Yessel and, and Mark Pelosi is another one we've got high hopes for. So at the minute the the group is strong in name, it just needs to probably have the the ones who got injured back sooner rather than later. Obviously, the likes of the likes of players like like Teixeira and even even your Suzos this world. I mean, when you see them, you see Suzo in particular in the first team. He looks. When you see him on the street, he's actually quite a big lad. But when you see him in the first team, he looks very much like a boy. I mean, how much is the, does the, the the academy have to do to work towards making them physically ready for the the pace and the power of the Premier League? I think physically ready in that respect, but it's a similar thing. Is if you look at Suarez, he, he's not a big. He's not a big man, but his body work in terms of how he shields and protects the ball and how he, I think it's, it's, a, it's a very, it's a Latin quality that Zhao's got as well. Zhao's someone who, the ball, you know, if it's between, sort of, his arse goes into the man, his arms, it's a, fan, it's a street quality that they've got, that the, how they've learned and, and Suarez is, I think, really similar in, in that type of quality. And, um, so although he's not, he's not the tallest, he's certainly in how he protects the ball and how he copes in the Premier League, I don't think there'll be a problem in that respect. Okay.